With respect, Chancellor, I believe this creature could pose any number of dangers. Bringing it here to Coruscant is a mistake. Mace Windu, to sheave Palpatine Windu returned to Coruscant with the sedated Zillow beast in tow. As the clone army transported the beast to the Republic Science and Technical Center, Windu again expressed his disapproval of Palpatine's decision to move a dangerous creature to the capital. By then, however, it was clear to him that the Chancellor would not listen to the Jedi Master's counsel on this matter. Palpatine claimed that the research conducted on the Zillow Beast would be beneficial to the Republic war effort, although his reassurance did little to alleviate Windu's concerns about the safety of Coruscant. At Kenobi's suggestion, the Jedi turned to Senator Padme Amidala in the hopes that she would have more success in reasoning with the Chancellor. Shortly after its arrival, however, the Zillow Beast escaped from its confinement and proceeded to rampage through the cityscape of the galactic capital. Windu and the other Jedi mobilized Republic forces in order to prevent the Beast from causing more damage and casualties on Coruscant. Palpatine, who had ordered the Beast's destruction, was caught in its path while attempting to evacuate the Senate office building. Windu and the Jedi consequently focused their efforts on saving the Chancellor's life, which ultimately led to the death of the Zillow Beast when Palpatine ordered the Republic gunships to fire Malastarian gas bombs on it.